Okay, got got the snap on meter on here now. Let's see if we can pick it up on that one. Go ahead and snap it. Let's see if it's got a better update rate. Okay. Four three, about the same as our ideal meter. Go ahead, do it again. We know it's going higher than that. What is the multimeter doing? It's missing it. So we'll try the min max on this one. And my max, go ahead, snap it. 4.2, go ahead, snap it again. It's not catching it either, guys. A really fast signal and a really fast glitch, almost impossible to see on the multimeter. You had to have a meter, you had to have a scope, you have to snap it. Again, this stuff should not be there. A little bit of explanation on the waveform. If I increase it gradually, signal comes up gradually. If I do a quick snap, engine takes a big gulp of air, you're gonna have a big snap. Those are normal. You don't wanna see glitches and dropouts. That would be that right there and that right there. Should not be in this waveform. So one final thing to do would be to make sure we have good wiring. Is it possible that you could have feed voltage that's dropping out to this sensor that could make it glitch or a ground that's bad that could make this sensor glitch or even a signal wire that's touching on ground somewhere and the answer is yes so we need to make sure chances are this is a bad mass airflow these go bad all the time but we're going to do one final check and then that's going to be check our integrity of our signal wire check our power check our ground okay Okay, what we're doing is uh, we're looking at the feed again and, and we're looking at the signal at the same time. Signal, this is a graph frequency and this is uh, our, our feed wire, 13.4 volts. And we're looking for the feed to drop the same time the signal drops. I'm just wiggling on the connector of the sensor and you see the drops in the signal and I don't see any feed voltage line drops. So I'm, I'm not worried about the feed as being our problem. So our feed looks good. So I'm gonna take this now. I'm gonna move this over one. We're doing two channels. Take the T-pin, move it to my ground wire. We're gonna measure ground voltage now. And this is gonna be a low voltage signal. So I'm gonna to wanna to change my scale off of a 20. We'll change this down to like a one volt. We'll go two volts so it doesn't look so noisy in this. And that's my ground line, my signal line. There's my glitch, my drop, and my signal. How's my ground voltage look? Ground is up here, looks nice and stable. So how's my power and ground in the sensor as it's glitching out? It looks great. Okay, so last thing is the signal wire itself. Go ahead and shut the car off. Okay, last. Okay, the last test, we'll call this a signal circuit integrity. And what we've done is we've unplugged the sensor. And on this design, the computer sends five volts down to the mass airflow and the mass airflow pulls it to ground to make a square wave. And so uh, what we wanna do first of all is, can I get you to unbend that T-pin and make sure it's in there nice and, nice and strong. So it doesn't wiggle around. And then what we want to see on the screen, we're looking over here, is a nice steady flat line. And then what we want to do is we want to wiggle the harness and we don't want to see any glitches or dropouts in that signal. And so I'm just pulling on the harness where the mass airflow is, you follow it, push on the harness here. And can I get you guys to do that while I'm watching the screen, kind of push on it down there and then follow the harness up that way, wiggle all that stuff along the firewall when it goes in over there. And what we want to do is make sure we get a nice steady 5 volt the whole time. And I do. Looks great. So how's my signal wire? Good. Integrity. Good. It's good. good. How's my feed? Good. It's good. And how's my ground? It's good. It's good. Now we're, we're happy with the computer, our glitch. We're going to say the mass airflow. There would be one final thing that we could do is we could pin this connector and make sure that these connectors aren't spread apart. And... Uh, it does look like this um, this mass airflow signal pin 
it looks like it's a little bit spread apart more than the other ones are. So it would be worth doing a pin, doing a pin check first before we call this mass airflow. Um, really, uh, what I do in this case, I don't even bother checking for a, a pin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the tabs back out. So can I have you hold that for me? And, and maybe zoom in on my hands, I don't know. This is the zoom, it's a scroll. And go in further, keep going. Push toward me, there you go. Go in further so you can see that's good right there. What I'm gonna do, let me know when you're focused. Yeah. What I'm gonna do to pin this, you take the T-pin like this, and then you go between there and you bend it. And so what I've done is I've closed this gap right here. Right? I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Go between it and bend that out. And again, what I've done is I've closed this gap and you can see the gap in this one. Maybe you can see it kind of hard with that light, huh? Mm -hmm. You can see the gap in this one compared to these two. And then one final one is we're gonna re-bend that one back and make sure we close the gap on that one close the gap on all three now we plug it back in one one last check we put our t-pin back in our signal wire and we don't want to unbend what we just did so don't force it in there we're laying on the exhaust and redo our signal one last time we're back on the signal wire after tightening the pins just to make sure we don't have a loose pin and I'm, I'm grabbing the sensor, I'm just grabbing it right here and I'm pushing on the top of the sensor and I'm lifting up on it right there. And you can see on my scope, as I lift up on that sensor, what do we see? Glitches, dropouts, right? We are done. This car needs a mass airflow sensor. Pin contact's good, feed wire's good, ground is good, signal's good, computer's fine, absolutely needs a mass airflow sensor. Again, we'll set a PO102, PO103 would be trouble codes associated with this, common failure on this style GM mass airflow sensor. This one was not a dirty one, right? This one ended up being one that's glitching, dropping out. Okay, good.